Hi everyone, this is Debbie with Plan Do Repeat. Thanks for stopping by. Um, as you can tell from the description, we're going to be playing with our junkie journal again. Uh, I've already done some stuff to it and I realized I was doing stuff to it and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to stop and let y'all watch. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, I've been a little busy, okay? Um, let me... Alright, so uh, some people had asked me about um, junk mail, and this is the junk mail that I was talking about that I get in the mail. This, it, it will be different for you because of where you live uh, and what kind of stores you have. But these are the things that come in my mail. Um, they're coupons, they're um, sales, they're food ads, that kind of thing, okay? Um, and we get it every week, all right? So, and most people throw these away, or unless you're a couponer, um, then you, uh, you use the coupons, and then you throw it away. But I save them, <laughs> of course. Um, and what I did was, uh, for last week's um, uh, junk mail, uh, I, I went through and I put it, a lot of it in here. Okay, um, this coupon is good through February 12th through the 15th, so, um, so that means it's this week, <laughs> uh, if you're watching right now. Anyway, um, what I did was I literally went through and fussy cut a whole bunch of stuff. Um, these were all from different ads, and I just went through and cut things out and glued them as I went. So, uh, these are just pieces of uh, an Aldi's ad, actually, and I like the blue, so I just stuck them on there. Uh, I ran out of paper, so I had to get some more paper, and this is the cover from the paper. Um, this is uh, from the Planner Society that I had. It's actually one of their bags uh, from a long time ago. So, I just went through and uh, whatever I had from the mail or from the, the junk mail, I just stuck it in here. Um, there's some, you know, some Valentine's stuff because Valentine's just happened. This is a dog. Um, everything you need for a happy is a puppy dog. So I just went through and, and found interesting things and just cut them and put them in here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to show that you can do it even with a small one like this. Now for the big one, that was no problem <laughs> because, you know, there were plenty of ads. And I know from the, the, um, the prompt list that we had decided on uh, that I made, it said to um, Mod Podge a, a napkin to the front um, and back covers, but I just couldn't help it. Look at how pretty these blue, I mean these red... Uh, coupons were. This is from a um, uh, furniture place, so I just had to put it on there. So, you know, you, this is not, you know, rocket science, and it's not uh, uh, written in stone. So, see, even I didn't follow the rules, <laughs> because in, um, in art there are no rules. So, uh, I wanted to be a bad example, and here I am. Uh, it's not really a bad example, it's just that if something is working for you, go for it. You know, it, it's not like somebody's going to put you on restriction or something, you know. So I didn't put a napkin on here because I thought that this was really neat. So that's why I did that. And these were leftovers, so I just put those on there. Okay. And I made a belly band with this one. I stuck this in here so you could see. But I just went through and I just glued things and stuck things in that I had left over from from uh, from the junk mail. Um, I just finished doing this, so it's still going to be gluey. But um, just all different kinds of things. Now remember, this is from saving a lot of stuff for like the last month. So if you see more than one of these, it's not because I ate it all in one day. Okay? Uh, the, this is from the uh, furniture place. See? I don't know if you can see it. There you go. All right. These were a bunch of coupons that I just cut out and, and glued onto this page because I thought, why not? You know, why, why throw it away? Uh, this was from, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, bread that we bought. And so this is a tag place, so I can stick anything I want in there. This is just a just add things. I cut these stars out from all kinds of things. Um, I had a big... <laughs> a big ad for the uh, 
for the furniture place. So I cut a whole bunch of furniture out. Um, I stuck some envelopes in here. I stuck a tag, a tuck in here. These were more coupons. Just, um, this is another thing from the, from the paper that I cut out and, and glued here. This was from uh, some kind of a grocery, I mean a jewelry store ad. So I'm just telling you, you know, these were the things that I did, okay? I just went through and just glued, you know, glued things to it. Um, this one I haven't glued yet because I, all I had was my glue stick and I didn't think it would hold it in there. Um, I stuck this in here. I stuck a little piece of the ad so that I could pull it out. So I stuck it in there. Um, these are the, those... Uh, the ad for all those checks, you know how people can order checks? People don't even order checks anymore, but they still have the ads for them. So I just cut them up and put them on here because I thought it would look cool, and it did. I like it anyway. So there you go. Um, so I just went through and stuck things on that I found, and that's what, I done, what I've done so far. Okay? So um, I was going through and looking at the different things that uh, I had on the list because I want to follow some things on the list and I was thinking about the lids the water bottle lids now if you don't have water bottles that's okay you don't have to do this um, I collected these um, we stopped using water bottles a couple of years ago but I saved these <laughs> because I do that sort of thing um, and I knew I could use these someday so um, it's someday at least for a few of them. Um, and I've got plenty more of these. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bad about that. So what I thought was I could paint these, okay? Um, and I've got these paints pulled out. I was going to do the black for the background. And then I really like the turquoise and the, uh, the lime tree colors. And of course yellow. Yellow makes me happy. So those were the ones that I pulled out and that's what I'm going to use and this is a skewer uh, you can get these at the Dollar Tree really really cheap price and what I do is I just break them and this is my uh, end that I dot with with my my um what do you call it my paint all right so I stuck uh oh oopsie I stuck the black paint in a separate one of these because I didn't want the black paint to get everywhere because it does. It's black paint and it does that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the top of these. Oh, the holes. I used my big crocodile um, to make a hole in all of these. Um, the, my regular size crocodile would not fit, uh, but you can use something else if you want. You can use like a nail and a hammer. That would work. Um, you can get your pointy thing, whatever you use as your pointy thing, and uh, bang it with uh, a heavy object, whatever you've got, a uh, pair, pair of pliers or whatever. Um, that's what you can do. Or you don't have to do this part. This is not a rule. <laughs> it's not the law. Um, you do not have to do this. Okay? Um, it's just something that I thought up because I have all these lids. And this was something that I was going to do for myself. And I, as I wrote this list down, I thought, well, you know what? I'm just going to share it. Um, maybe somebody else would like to do it along with me so that was my thinking on this and it turns out there are some people that want to do this so I'm excited that um, that y'all are joining me um, but like I opened up earlier you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it I'd like to see um, the differences in how we do things you know um, it's so interesting because you know art uh, is in the eye of the beholder. So one thing that I think is really cool would be something that you wouldn't think is cool and vice versa. Um, I love seeing other people's work. Oh, it's just, it's amazing what people can do with the same things that I'm using. It's just so cool. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's my thoughts anyway. So I'm thinking, should I go ahead and do the edges or not? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the edges. So I'm going to stop this because it's going to be a really, really long <laughs> video. Um, and I'm going to finish the edges and dry them and then I'll be right back. Okay, these are sort of, kind of, sort of dry. <laughs> um, I had ink everywhere. So, um, so I'm going to take this thing that I just um, divided from this, the skewer thing. It's, it was used to be like this. Uh, I use these a lot. Um, and they're only one dollar at the Dollar Tree and you get a whole bag full of them. So what I like, what I wanted to do, I, I haven't done this yet, so who knows, it may look like a mess. Um, but I'm just going to dip and see I got black all over this, even though I separated the black from there. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab into the ink and see how it looks. Oh, look. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Okay. I was scared to death that it would not show up. Because <laughs> that happens. Uh, more times than I like to admit. Alright, so. Um... Let me cut a little bit off of the end here. I don't want it to get on top of my things, but I just wanted to show you. I'm just taking scissors and cutting, okay? Because I don't want uh, loose edges because I'm going to dip it in a different color, okay? All right, so might as well have a twofer for one stick. So I'm just going to dab. Kind of like a mini Mandela. I hope you can see this. I'm just trying to think of different ways to do this so that it won't be boring to look at. I hope you can see this. Go back to the green. Just trying to do different different ways of doing it. Okay, so I'm going to take the green off of the end of this. Hopefully that'll take most of it off. I'm going to wipe it as best as I can. And I'm going to go with the yellow. Okay. I was hoping that it wouldn't be too too close to the green color so that you could see the difference. 
it looks like the green is uh, pretty much pretty close to the yellow so but that's okay If you don't have paint like this, that's okay. You don't have to do that. Um, use what you have, okay? Um, I, one of the suggestions on my on my prompt list was um, nail polish. Uh, definitely use nail polish if you have some. Why not? It's there, right? Okay, I'm going to put some on here. Um, I made some, uh, some beads from recycled paper. Uh, I have, a, a video about that. I'll link it below so that you can, uh, check it out if that's something that you're interested in. Um, the reason why I'm mentioning it is I'm going to be using some of those beads, uh, on this, uh, junky journal because that's what I made them for I was made them to to use them right so let's see okay so that's that's good enough I've, I've got lots and lots of dots here going on and don't worry I won't waste any of this ink I will probably um, be adding it to my journal on different pages um, so that uh, it won't be wasted I can't stand wasting <laughs> uh, ink. I mean, uh, paint. Uh oh. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, set these aside and let them dry. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and now uh, I'm going to let them see see if they can dry, dry a little bit. And I'm going to pull out the ones that uh, that I was thinking about using. Let's see. Let me get something to put this in. Okay. All right. So, um, I definitely wanted to use some of these because they're so, so pretty. Aren't they pretty? Okay. Um, let's see. I like these green ones. Let's let's put some green ones in here too. They are so pretty. I love the colors, don't you? Okay. Um now for the small one, look what we've got here. Oh, we got the little puppy dog and some greenery going. So I think the orange might be cool. Um So we'll do a few orange. And what else? What else can we do on this? Um, let's see. Maybe... These little pink ones that look kind of like um, barrels. I think they're awesome. Okay, with the writing on the inside. Let me do two bigger ones. Okay, and then something colorful. Let's do. Um, Couple of these they have sparklies on them that might not work uh, no that's not gonna work that's gonna be too busy let's see what we got with these okay all right all right so these are gonna be for the big one and then these are gonna be for the small one okay 
Now I un just untied them, that's all. They're still in a knot, okay? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bring one side of the that like this, okay, on each side of it, and I'm going to tie it so that it's um, cinched right there, okay? And I'm going to do it one more time. All right, awesome. And I think I'm going to do it with the rest of them too, just so that they look uh, cohesive. This may be um, a junky journal, okay, but it doesn't have to be ugly. I think oh, it's a misconception. There's a lot of people who think that um, just because we, we are reusing and recycling uh, things that it has to be um, ugly. No, um, recycled stuff can be so pretty um, and it can be fun. Uh, I like to make it fun. Let me do this one more time. Okay. Now, this is this one. Am I going to have it? Yep, I am going to have a hard time. Okay. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to um, find something that I can stick these on with. And then I will come back after I get these blow dried. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, that was a mess. <laughs> um, let me show you what ended up happening. Um, Y'all were probably screaming at me saying, those holes are too small. Those holes are... Well, that was true. That was true. The holes were too small. So uh, I found some of these that had bigger holes, but they were the wrong color. So I decided to paint them. And, of course, I painted them while they were on the yarn. <laughs> So that was that was uh that was a mess. Yeah, that was a mess. So um don't do that. <laughs> but I think it turned out wonderful, don't you? Um so that one is done. All right, and so I learned from my lesson. Oh, this is sticking up. Hold on just a second, let me. Oh that was stuck on there, wasn't it? Okay, I just can't stand for things to be sticking up out of there. All right, so um, I got some uh, on here, okay, and I have one, um, two, three left, okay, that I thought I would go ahead and do with you <laughs> because... Uh, I didn't do these with you. So, um, I'm. these are now dry, and I'm just putting them on. Uh, let's see. Where are these? I'm trying to have these staggered, you know, so that they're not um, all in one spot. So, I think that's about it for the lowest. So, I need to go higher, and that's not going to work. So, all right. <laughs> I'll just, uh, I'll just wing it. What, what do you think? Okay, so I think I'll just put it up as high as I can. I can't wait to see what y'all do. Um, I hope that you're following along um, on uh, my Facebook channel. On my Facebook group, uh, and it's under the same name, Plan Do Repeat, Plan Plan Dot Do Dot Repeat. Um, yeah, and I have the prompt list there uh, in the album section. So I would really like to see what what kind of things y'all are going to be doing, because you know we all do things differently, and I love. I love the way that other people take the same ideas and run with it and, and do something different. It's so cool. I just, I love that. So, this is what I'm doing with this one. I'm just tying it together with the sec other one. Okay. 
There we go. So I learned a lesson. Don't try to use beads that have a small hole uh, when you're using yarn. So, because it's not going to work. <laughs> uh, learn from my lesson, y'all. Okay, so here we go. Um, now, I have room on here to put other things. All right. So I, I did that on purpose so that when I come across something that um, looks like it's supposed to go on here, then I'll be able to stick it on there. I could do it right here if I needed to. Okay. All right. So that took a while. And I've got all these extra little bits that I can use uh, later in here. All right, and uh, let me get my paint out of the way so that I don't have paint everywhere. That would be bad. Okay. Now, I was thinking about um, oh, um, washi tape. Because I have one on here that says something about washi tape. Where did I put? Um... washi tape any page edges okay so I've got a couple of these I like this side better um, that I'm thinking about making a flip like this and I think washi tape would be perfect don't you all right so let's see this one's pretty it's purple all right and I think it'd look good next to the black and white so that's what I'm gonna put right here There we go. Easy peasy, huh? And there we go. It's a flip. Okay. And then I have another one in here because I got a couple of packs of new. Here we go. Right here. Uh, I don't want to put it over this girl's pretty face. So let's do it right here. Okay. Okay, that's two of them, and I think there was one more. Um, I don't think this was it, was it? No, I don't think so. Y'all are probably screaming at me, it's in such and such. I don't know where it is. There's one. Two. Where's the third one? Oh, there it is. Oh, I just glued it on. Okay. And I make it made it into a tuck. Cool. Okay, so we have... Let me put just a little bit on each end just so that it looks cute. How's that? Okay. There we go. All right. Now, um, I had something that had to do... Oh, wait. Let's do... Um, I'm going to use something that I don't use very often, like this one. This one I don't use very often at all. Okay, so let's pick just a few pages where we can put it on the edges, okay? All right. Um, should I fold it over? Let's do that. Let's fold it over. You won't be able to see the numbers, but that's okay. So I have a whole bunch of uh, washi tape that I don't use because um, I got them at um, conferences, uh, planner conferences, and um, the some of the sponsors would give out uh, a whole bunch of free washi tape. Um, it was Michael's. <laughs> Michael's would give us a pack that had like, I don't know, I don't remember how many was in it. It was like 12 packs or something. And we were all like, oh, awesome. Well, it turns out 
nobody wanted to keep theirs while we were there. And we had this table that you could put, you know, things on it that you didn't want. So I visited it regularly <laughs> because, you know, people were adding stuff to it. And so I was, you know, picking up washi tape like a crazy woman because, you know, free, right? And I figured, what the heck? I mean, it's something that I, I use, you know, all the time. Why not? Why not get it, you know? So I have all this washi tape that I literally don't use. Yeah, I did that. Um, so... You know, sometimes free is not so great if you're not going to use it, right? Look, see the pages are sticking together. There we go. I did a lot of gluing today. There we go. So some of the pages are going to stick. Okay, let's just get a couple more. So I can't wait to see, I know I've already said this, but I can't wait to see what y'all do with these prompts. Um, don't wait for another video. I want y'all to just go forth and use up all your, your, um, your stash. Uh-oh, this came off. Um, and this is supposed to be the stuff that you get on a regular basis, okay? Um, so, this is coming off. I'm going to put so this on here, too. Um, I did th that on purpose because we, I get stuff daily, you know? Um, at least three times a week, I have stuff. I, uh, stuff gets thrown in the trash. Th stuff comes in the mail. I mean, we get stuff at least like I said three times a week so I'm I'm real I'm serious about using what I get you know in the mail um, each week and I'm talking to y'all too. go ahead and uh, use it use it use it use it do not stick it in a pile somewhere and say I will use this you know next year or next month or next week. Use it now. Now is a really good time to do that. Don't you think? Okay, one more day. One more uh, piece right here. Okay. There we go. See, it wasn't hard to do, was it? And you know, I could be in my living room watching a movie with my husband or something or listening to a podcast or listening to music. I really love listening to uh, calming music at the end of the day and um, playing with my stuff, uh, arting, um, cutting mag uh, magazine uh, images for glue books. I love doing that. So I do that. Uh, about an hour before I go to bed so that it's, it's all calming and relaxing for me so that's what I like to do anyway I was gonna get some of my um, nail polish I have a pile that I don't use um, but I'm not gonna be able to I don't have enough time and I don't want this to, to run on so uh, I'm gonna stop here uh, I wanted to show y'all these are just adorable, aren't they? And this is too. Uh, I keep, I'm doing both the, these. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put some washi in this too. I'm going to put some in this really quick. Uh, let me just pick one. This is a, now let's see. Let me put one that, okay, this is one that we got. Uh, a while ago. Okay, let me get my scissors, and I'm just going to put it on the edges, like this. Can you see it?
I love the feel of these books. The crinkly from the from scrunching the pages are awesome. I really like how that part came out. And it made me want to play in this book, you know? That's some fruit that was on sale at the local grocery store. And I just cut them out and stuck them on there. Now later, if I decide to, to glue something on these pages that the washi tape is on, and I want it in a different place, I want to put something that goes better there, I can take this washi off and stick it somewhere else. Because washi tape is the bomb diggity, isn't it? Okay. Let's put it on the last page like this. Boom! Okay, cool beans. So that helped, didn't it? Alright, so that's another thing that we can mark off on my list because I did it. And I think that this came out great because it had all those ads um, and they were bright red. So I thought that they were pretty cute. So that's why I went ahead and did that. Um, but for sure, if you have um, napkins that are just sitting around not doing anything, go ahead and Mod Podge the, the, the front. In fact, let me know down below that you did that and then show a picture in our uh, Facebook group. Uh, the group is growing and we're all excited about showing off what we did in our books. So, um, yeah, why don't you do that? Show me what you did to the front of your books, okay? I'm really, I really want to know how you did, okay? All right, so there we go. I'm so glad that I got this done. Uh, I can't wait to get more done on here. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's mark something off on here. Okay. So I did... Junk mail envelopes as pockets. I did that. Okay. Um, I glued scrap paper on some pages. I did that. I numbered all the pages. Um, so I didn't put Mod Podge on the front back covers. I glued. And so I marked that off. Okay. So, let's see. Um, notepad pages. I wanted to explain that to y'all. I don't know if you know what I was talking about. Um, where I said notepad pages. Hold on, just a second. I'm just going to grab a pile because I wanted to show y'all. Okay? So, I have a stack of these notepads. Sticky notes. Um... They're just all different shapes. These are all different shapes and sizes. Um, and I don't use them. Do y'all collect them too? Uh, I, I collect them through the years. And I don't use them at all. So, um, that was one of the things that I wanted to do. Look at this. It's a pile of poop. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. Um, they're all adorable. See, look at that. Isn't that awesome? But I don't use them. Do you guys use them? Um, it's, it's a waste. So I decided that I was going to go in here. And I thought especially like somewhere in here. And like cover up a whole page full of them. I thought that would be pretty nifty. So that was my idea. Um, so anyway, that was the, the thought behind the notepads. So. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. <laughs> uh, I hope that you're having as much fun with these as I am because these are a blast. And I can't wait to see what y'all do. Until next time, peace out.